Hi everybody, welcome to Tub Time, the time of the week when we talk about fun ways to have fun with our tubs. I uh, wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about, uh, more about options with tubs. Um, as you can see behind me, this tub here is a tub shower combo with a sliding shower door. Uh, now, a lot of people opt to not do a shower door and to do a shower curtain. And so I kind of wanted to explore that with you guys today and uh, talk about little fun ways to make either your shower door or your shower curtain represent you and be a little bit more personalized. So, as you can see right here, we have a shower door. I'm just gonna open this here so that we kind of ignore that uh, and talk a little bit first about shower curtains. Uh, the reason a lot of people like to do shower curtains is because it makes accessibility to the tub shower area a lot easier. In fact, we often recommend a shower curtain for somebody who is either in a wheelchair or has accessibility issues because it's a little less cumbersome for them to get in, in or out of the uh, shower or bath. Now, with a bathtub, if you have little kids that you're bathing in the tub and you are assisting them, uh, as you can see, a shower door actually very much limits your ability to get in and help a child in the bath. Even if you were to move it all the way over, you're still limited in, in your space in order to reach in. So a shower curtain works well for that. Uh, shower curtains also come in all different kinds of colors, textures, patterns. You can get uh, vinyl shower curtains, um, plastic shower curtains, you can get uh, cloth shower curtains. If you have allergies, I will um, let you know that a cloth shower curtain is actually the best way to go because you can wash it in your wash machine once a week. Um, and with the vinyl and plastic shower curtains, they tend to grow mold and mildew a little bit faster. So just a little heads up on that. Now, with shower curtains, you can get polka dot stripes, all kinds of patterns, words, just to make it totally personalized and totally fun. The thing with shower curtains is because they're inexpensive and it is the most inexpensive option, they are considered disposable. Once they get gross, you probably should throw it away and invest in a new shower curtain. Shower curtains also don't keep water out like a shower door does. Uh, shower curtains can do a great job of keeping the majority of the water out, but if they're not shut all the way or if it's not sealed up on the side, you'll notice that you'll start to see water that will come out along the side, especially over here on this side where the shower head is. Now, shower doors. Shower doors are so fun these days. We have an amazing selection, not just of glass, but also of colors for the uh, trim, for the handles. Uh, there is different patterns that you can get uh, with that. You can make it look like it's a pane glass. Um, just a lot of neat things to do with shower doors these days. Swing doors, even on the tub. Sliding doors are what we would recommend most, though. A uh, sliding door with a tub um, allows to keep all the water in. As you can see, the sliding door here actually goes behind the lip of the frame, so that keeps all your water inside the tub. Now, you'll see here we have a brush nickel frame door here. Um, sliding doors for the tub actually come in framed and frameless or semi, we call them semi-framed because they actually still do have the bottom track on them. Uh, they just don't have this upper piece. Uh, the handle here that we have is a tension handle. It wraps around the side of the glass. Uh, we can do handles that go through the glass so it creates that seamless appearance of the glass. Uh, the glass can come in all different kinds of obscurities. It can look like rain droplets. It can be frosted. Uh, it can even have flowers, leaves, and bamboo on it. So it's just what you personally would like to see for your shower solution. And um, there's a lot of different ways we can make that happen for you. We actually also have tinted glass too, um, and that is an option. So if you have any questions about a shower curtain versus a shower door, please post them in the comments below. We look forward to seeing you next week when we start talking about a quick minute design. And until then, have a great day.